We've inherited quite a budget crunch from President Trump. The cure! We need the cure! This machine is rigged! We're looking into a picture going around online this month. It claims to show a screenshot of a 2002 episode of The Simpsons that eerily mirrors real life events. Soccer versus football, tiger attacks, and voting scandals from The Simpsons series to our future and present. Here are some insane predictions made by the series throughout the years. Also, which Simpsons character do you think is responsible for making one of the biggest scientific discoveries to date? Stay tuned to find out. Starting off our list today, we have the FIFA corruption scandal. I feel like this next Next statement could go one of two ways, but in the name of entertainment, I'm gonna continue. While we were all aware that football or soccer players, if you're from the Americas, have been known to exaggerate and fabricate injuries on the field, in 2015 the world was shocked to find out that the majority of faking it didn't actually take place on the field or in the bedroom, but instead inside of the FIFA headquarters. The prediction was made by The Simpsons in 2015 in episode 16 of season 25, You Don't Have to Live Like a Referee. In the episode, Homer becomes a referee for the World Football Federation. And during his time in the field and on the field, he quickly learns that there is an alarming level of corruption and bribery going on in regards to the game. Just one year after the episode aired, FIFA headquarters were raided and FIFA officials were arrested on corruption charges. In total, over $150 million in bribes were accepted over the course of two decades. Sorry football fans. Lions, Tigers, and Siegfried and Roy. In episode 10, season 5, Springfield, spelt with a dollar sign instead of an S, the town legalized gambling. And so naturally, Mr. Burns, the money addict, decides to open up a casino in Springfield, in which he has two German magicians, Gunter and Ernst, perform with their white tiger. But during one of the acts, the tiger turns turns on and attacks the men. The episode first aired in 1993 and then, just 10 years later, the incident was brought to life during a Las Vegas performance starring Siegfried, Roy, and their white Bengal tiger. During one of the trio's performances, the animal started to stray away from the routine, and when Roy tried to redirect the animal, who was coming increasingly invested in and close to the audience, he was met with the tiger's jaws locked tightly around his neck. The ordeal ended in Roy becoming partially paralyzed and he and Siegfried's performance days coming to an end. Next up, Barack Obama versus John McCain versus Mitt Romney versus technical error or perhaps something more sinister. In season 20, episode 4 of The Simpsons, Treehouse of Horror 19 XIX, Homer Simpson walks into a voting booth and places a vote for Barack Obama, only to have the machine record a vote for his 2008 opponent, John McCain. This happens several times before Homer yells, this machine is rigged. He's then sucked into the machine and thrown out of the booth. While no one was manhandled by a voting booth during the 2012 election that took place just four years after the episode aired, an instance of faulty voting machinery did occur. The incident was uploaded to YouTube by user High Tech Redneck. The video shows the man selecting Obama as the 2012 president with Joe Biden as the vice president, but when he tries to select the option, the machine registers the vote as one for Mitt Romney with Paul Ryan as vice president. He deselects and reselects Obama several times, but each time Mitt Romney Romney becomes highlighted on the machine. He claims he then called a volunteer over who said, it's nothing to worry about, everything will be okay, and then walked away. Crazy times, friends. Next up, the Higgs boson particle equation, also known as the God particle equation. The discovery of the Higgs boson, which relates to mass, quarks, and electrons in a way I don't understand, is one of the greatest scientific discoveries made to date. I mean, the particle is what makes the existence of and the interactions of matter possible. But I'm not a scientist, I'm a YouTuber. So let's stop talking about science and get into how The Simpsons predicted the equation that led to finding the mass of the particle back in 1988. 14 years before scientists cracked the code in real life. In season 10, episode 2, The Wizard of Evergreen Terrace, Homer is seen scribbling manically on a chalkboard, which shows a lengthy equation that almost exactly calculates the mass of the Higgs boson. Which is crazy, especially considering the two scientists who discovered the exact mass using an incredibly similar equation won a joint Nobel Prize. I feel like Homer might have deserved a shout out in their acceptance speech, but I'll let it slide. Next up, if you're eating a burger, either put it down or skip this point because we've got beef, horse beef to be exact. In episode 19 of season 5, Sweet Seymour Skinner's Bad 
Pop's song. Doris, the lunch lady, is seen adding horse parts to cafeteria food. Gross and also illegal. In 2013, 19 years after the episode originally aired, health officials in the UK discovered an alarming amount of meat was actually contaminated with horse. Many products were pulled from the shelves, one in particular being the Tesco hamburgers, which were advertised as beef but contained at least 29% horse meat. Obviously, people were pissed and millions of dollars in revenue was lost by multiple businesses across the country due to the supply chain issue. Gross. The government or totally spies. I'm just kidding, this isn't a crossover episode, but rather a prediction made in the 2007 Simpsons movie, The Simpsons Movie. You know, the one where Homer causes Springfield to become the most polluted place in the world, leading to a giant glass dome being placed over the town by the Environmental Protection Agency in an attempt to contain the issue. Well, Homer, Marge, Lisa, Bart, and Maggie somehow manage to escape, but they are located by the National Security Agency, the NSA, who were able to track them by listening to their phone calls, tracking their locations, and monitoring them through video surveillance. Sound familiar? In 2013, just six years after the movie's release, the shoe dropped and the whistle blew when Edward Snowden revealed that the real life NSA had been doing exactly that. While the information that the government is spying on us might seem like a throwaway topic of discussion today, back then it was a revelation and caused mass outrage. The Ebola outbreak of 2014 is next on the list. The epidemic was predicted in 1997, 17 years before the American outbreak took place. In episode 3 of season 9, Lisa's Sax, Marge is seen reading Curious George and the Ebola virus to Bart in an attempt to cheer him up. While I am aware that the Ebola virus was already a thing in the 90s, in fact it was discovered in like 1976, the fact that it was paired with Curious George is what warrants the tableau earning itself a spot on today's list. You see, in 2014, the year of the outbreak, Curious George released its 100th episode. Coincidence? Perhaps, but it's a bit uncanny in my opinion. Speaking of outbreaks, remember that time we all had to stay home between the years of 2020 and 2022? Yeah, The Simpsons predicted that too. I mean, obviously. But not only did they predict the outbreak of an illness, they also predicted the outbreak of killer bees. In episode 21 of season 4, Marge in Chains, which aired all the way back in 1993, an unprecedented flu sweeps through Springfield, which which causes the townspeople to riot. During said riot, while the citizens of the town are demanding a cure for the illness, a swarm of killer bees is unleashed. 27 years later, not only do we experience a very famous outbreak that leaves all of us locked in our homes, in one of the same years, America and the western coast of Canada experienced an infestation of killer hornets, whose stings are extremely painful and in some cases lethal. Luckily, the insects have since been eradicated from the areas and we are now allowed to leave our houses, but like, come on, kick us when you're down, why don't ya? Walt Disney, Fox, or both. In season 10, episode 5, When You Dish Upon a Star, Homer decides to make a call to the 20th Century Fox executives to suggest an idea for a movie. The next scene, which is accompanied by a caption that reads one month later, shows that the 20th Century Fox Studios has now become a division of Walt Disney. The episode was aired in 1998, and the prediction came true 21 years later in 2019 when Disney announced its $71 billion merger with the company. While it is astounding just how many predictions The Simpsons have gotten right. I'm not sure if I can necessarily say I'm surprised by this one as Disney at this point is known for buying up companies and franchises including Marvel, Hollywood Records, ABC, Vice Media, Pixar, National Geographic, ESPN, and many, many more. And finally, is it getting hot in here? If it is, you could try blocking the sun like they did in season 6 episode 25 of The Simpsons Who Shot Mr. Burns. In the episode which aired in 1995, an oil reserve is discovered beneath the Springfield Elementary School. Mr. Burns is quick to begin drilling for oil and then, once he has emptied the reserve, Burns blocks out the sun so that every person in Springfield is forced to use energy from his power plant. While I don't necessarily understand the logic in the episode, I do understand that in 2023, 28 years after The Simpsons floated the original idea, George Soros has stated that it is his goal 
possible to block out the sun using geoengineering. But it's not actually as bad as it sounds. You see, while Soros does want to block out the sun, he only wants to do it in Antarctica, and he wants to do it in an effort to reduce the rate at which the Arctic ice is melting. Very interesting and definitely something to look out for. Alright you guys, that's what I've got for you today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I've been your host Hannah Thompson and I will see you in our next video. Mm -hmm.